Hi everyone, it's Misty from The Joy of a Dolphin, and we're going to be using this stamp set today, another oldie but goodie. <laughs> For um, our card, I'm going to be using this piece from the Birthday Bouquet Designer Series paper. I've got a piece of Night of Navy that I cut at four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. I've got a piece of Soft Suede that measures um, three and a half by four and three quarters and then a piece of watercolor paper that measures just a little bit smaller than that. So we're gonna be watercoloring today using our blender pen. I'm gonna be using Blushing Bride and then also Mossy Meadow, which is the color that's in the stamp set. So first things first is I wanna stamp this and get it aside so it can start drying while we put together our card base. So let me move my out of the way. It's been a while since I've watercolored, and you may actually see me do it again on the next card because I've been wanting to watercolor that Rose Wonder card for a while, or that Rose Wonder stamp set. <laughs> you guys know I'm obsessed with that one. Isn't that so pretty? This hydrangea is so pretty. And I forgot to grab a sentiment, but let me do that. I just love, I love hydrangea, and I wish I could grow them here, but it's Texas, and they really need to grow in the shade, apparently, and we don't have any shade. We just don't. Our house gets full sun almost all day, and I don't want it to, I don't want it under a tree, so. Oh, poot. We'll cover that up with ribbon or something. Let me move it to the side. Okay, I want that to have a second to dry. Let's bring in our card base. Got some pre-cut strips here that I was using for Jolly Mail and I didn't use them all up, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. This is a piece of Whistle White that measures four by five and a quarter. If you guys are new to my channel, I almost 100% of the time don't stamp on the inside because I like to have room to write a sentiment or if I send these cards to people, I like them to have a room, have a room. <laughs> I like them to have a room. I like them to have a room to write the sentiment. So this pattern is also pretty, but I really want this striking mossy meadow color, um, which is retiring by the way. So don't forget um, Mossy Meadow, Tangelo Twist, Blackberry Bliss, Lost Lagoon, and Hello Honey are all retiring. And I, if you like any of those colors, I would go ahead and get them because, again, they are retiring. So. I don't think I have any ribbon. Dang. I hate when this happens and I had to throw away my white gel pen because it wasn't working. Maybe I have a piece of white. I will cover it up. Let's see. This is how I store my ribbon. It's horrible, but whatever. <laughs> <sighs> It's not the best way to store my ribbon, but it's what I got. Ooh, so might stitch that and that'll work. Okay, so, got stuff all over the place. I'm gonna go ahead and see if this is dry enough. So the way that you can do this is just kind of squeeze your, your pad and it'll get ink up on top. I'm gonna start with my lightest color first. I'm using an aqua painter from Stampin' Up. Let me zoom in. Now, I'm not a professional painter. I don't even play one on TV. So, if you want this to look professional, you're gonna have to watch like Sandy Almock or somebody like that who colors professionally, who's a professional artist. Because Misty Levigne is not, and that's not really how you say my name. <laughs> it's Levine. 
But when I get phone calls, can I speak to Miss Levigny? 95% of the time I want to go, sorry, you have the wrong number. So now, I'm going to go ahead and close this up, put this away, because I will probably bring in Watermelon Wonder to darken it. So let's get some Mossy Meadow. Some watermelon wonder. And again, you just burp it. I miss you miss out a little bit. I'm gonna add some Wink Estella, and if I was thinking earlier, I would have done this. The paint. So, because I really like that. Trick. Okay. So let's get this added. To the card base and I'm going to use fast views. No, let's stick with snail. But I'm going to put a ton so this thing will really stick.
Okay, so let's get the ribbon. How am I going to do this? Oops. Same way I do it all the time, Pinky. Dimensionals. Give me all your dimensionals. What am I doing? I have no idea. Don't forget to write down the word that popped up on your screen. Make sure you are subscribed. Kitty Cat is sleeping. Did anybody notice I've gotten a little better at bow tying? No? Okay, good. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright. All day, alright. I gotta put glue dots on my list. Holy moly, I'm almost out. Holy moly. With a little bit of added dimension, you may have to um, have this hand metered. I don't think you would, but just in case. Ta-da! Oh, it turned out so pretty. I like it. You'll probably see me watercolor one more time on Friday because I want to watercolor that rose. So. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I really appreciate you. Have a fantastic rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.